Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? Nigga! That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw, she saw humanity as tortured, right? <clears throat> and frankly, it's bullshit. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Seriously, Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. And any one of you I do love my analog camera. 
I should take a quick picture now. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <laughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. I can't believe I still American have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st business. century. But I you like it old school. All about him. In your textbook. Or even online. My little camera bag is... And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo so Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. I'm sure you know what it's like to Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent... Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. I only want to share whatever gifts I have. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't... I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? So cool that we can check these out anytime. 
The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying off. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Charlie. Uh, like she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. 
American girls I'd like to Alyssa is always texting but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people Driving a car by the Evan doesn't say much to me but his photos are very cool I hate having everybody see inside my locker I love that picture of mom and dad Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, to as usual. all of you, American girls in the movies, no one That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. American girls like dollies. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I, cry sometimes. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Why she cries sometimes, talking about her own it looks like she's been gone for months. She got tired to complain That's when I fly To the wild land Principal doesn't come out of his office much To your land Miss Grant is a great science teacher He's cute I like skater boys too bad they don't like me. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm 
good to flow. Thanks. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? What? I did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, human time machine. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, totally Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces. Make it. Now, Max, 
Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everybody. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Stop this bullshit and go save that girl. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. You still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, Don't put that thing down! Ever tell me what to do! I'm I need so a hammer sick. to break it open! You are trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Blow me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Matson. 
The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? 
Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the mat. Come to thrash? I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Oh. Ooh. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. You never really escaped Betty. <laughs> Not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel and Amber and her punk friend used to love skating with us. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> ran away. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. One day she just vanished. 
I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her will get a skate posse and take them out with her boards. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Liz. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever. That was so cool. I'm glad I talked to him. Take more chances, Max. Thanks, Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. I'd like to study this photo if you don't mind. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not the most. 
What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. Thought it is, Max. Now... I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Max, you're harsh in my mellow. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Brooke actually has a drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? That looks like a high-fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus.
I bet David Madsen would love to spy on us with this kind of drone. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. Brooke actually has a drone? Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. I think his name is Evan. He always... These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously, 
I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. I'm glad you told me that, Max. Let's talk later, cool? That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. 